Hey, 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 everybody, Zell Savior here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we continued to work our way through the ranks of the Major League in hopes of achieving total victory. And in the process, we've also been receiving several emails from a mysterious man named X and getting guides from him on how to figure out what the heck's going on behind the Glitz Pit. And in our venture back towards the storage room that we learned that we needed to venture into next after acquiring the storage key, we got interrupted by a cutscene that I stupidly forgot occurred. So anyway, let's start from here. So you're telling me that you have no idea how who got inside. What did he have? Uh, what do we pay you for? I'm awfully sorry, Mr. Lean. I heard a noise in there, but I couldn't find anything. Hmm. Well, fine. Leave the rest of this matter to me. Go back to your post. And listen to me carefully. Do not ever tell anyone this, or I'll have your job. Jeez, man. Chewing that guy out. You! Mr. Gonzalez, this is highly inappropriate. What business do you have here? Please, I must ask you to stay out of places where you have no business being. Oh my god, what a bitch! Jesus Christ. Okay, anyway. Screw her, we're gonna go inside. Hmm, what do we- Oh, look what it is! It's our favorite little mouse. Oh, we meet again, you husky mustached hunk you. Are you a friend of Gonzalez? I didn't know he hung around crooks, and you look like one. Security was talking about noises in here. Did you make noises while you stole stuff? Oh, please, no one heard me. I'm the best mouse burglar of all time. I'm silent. It's quite obvious that someone else must have been monkeying around in here. Well, whatever, lady. But you are a thief, right? Hush. All you need to know is that I've been taking what I need now, and I'm on my way. As for the rest, you help yourself to whatever you like. <laughs> Heart. And now, my mu now we must part again, my sweet mustache man. Ooh, some sugar. Is that what's called a kiss? I heard about things. I'm jealous. Only you get one. <laughs> Yoshi want, or Champ wants some sugar too. Come on, come on, give give you, give Champ some sugar, man. We all we all deserve a little sugar in our lives, don't we? Ah, who needs her? Who needs her? What, what was that kiss like? I want to get me one of those. <laughs> Ooh, an email. Who's it for this time? Find the staircase switch to reach the attic. The staircase switch. What? X, X is a pretty knowledgeable dude. He knows a lot, a lot about what's going on right here. He's pretty mysterious. All right, well, unfortunately, we have to bring out the queen of hideousness, Flurry, and use her to blow away these hidden panels. First one, revealing a charge partner badge. Just getting that because I knew it was there. But more importantly, um, actually, before we do that, there we go. Yes, there's a hidden star panel. Oh, star a hidden star piece panel. There we go. Alrighty, but enough of that. Let us destroy these blocks, and I am OCD and will destroy every single one of them, even though it is not necessary. And with that, paper physics, activate and reveal a cool looking staircase that I missed because it is two dimensional. I cannot see where I am on the staircase. Climbing up the ladder. Ooh, very nice. A shine sprite in plain sight. Very, very nice. Anyway, let's get Flurry out of here and get Champ back in here. Use him to hover across this platform. And. I hate you, Block. I'm going to glare angry at you for a long time because I hate you. And then slowly start to twist my body with my hammer and smack you and die. Yes, and more importantly, we're going to get the HP partner badge. Yes, not very useful, but we will get it anyway. Let us advance. Okay, okay, that was really strange. My recording equipment was acting pretty strangely here for a second. Guys, I'm sorry about that. Anyway, um, yes, let us... What is, what's going on over here? Let us, let us, ooh. Let us eavesdrop. So, you didn't find hiding the hair number, so is that what you're saying? Yes, Mr. Grubba. It, appear, it appeared to be secure. Don't worry about it, sir. I've taken the necessary precautions. It was most likely just a rat or something. Well, no biggie out of the way. Ain't nothing in the way we missed too much today, anyway. Thanks for studying on top of the Jolene. Hey, by the way, any word on King K? I'm afraid we still don't know the whereabouts of King K, Mr. Grubba. And so, I deleted his spot on my roster per regulation. The Glitz Pit no longer has an official connection to KP, K KP Pete, a.k.a. King K. I, I have, of course, taken the same steps with all fighters who have gone missing. Whew, fighters who have been gone missing a lot lately. That's the fifth this year. And an entire tar tar nation's going on. I've heard some security. Did you uh, pff, I can't. <laughs> Grubba's voice is so hard to do. I even heard some security agent saying the pit's cursed. I doubt that, sir, but I certainly don't understand the disappearances. Well, for the time being, all the fellas at King K headed home for a spell. 
If Ori gets out about missing fighters, it sure ain't gonna be good for the business. No sirree. Nasty rumors on the way. Been seeing folk running to the all hills. You know what I mean? I understand completely, Mr. Grubba. I'll take care of everything, sir. You know, Jolene, you're a dang fine manager. But if you plum disappear sometimes, I gotta know where in the world do you go, darling? Uh, that's Mr. Grubba. I know you're my boss, but I don't believe that's any of your business. Easy. Didn't mean to pry. Now, how about this? Then heard of the crystal stars? Ooh, what is this? This is an interesting turn of events. I've never heard such of a thing, Mr. Grubba. Okie dokie, well, I appreciate your time, Miss Jolene. You go ahead and run along now, you hear? So Grubba's the one who knows about the crystal stars, eh? Well, if this ain't a fine how to do so, seems like good fighters are a dime breed. That wild child Gonzalez is just about the only draw I still got around here. Whoa, Gonzalez, whoa. Did you hear that? Fighters are going missing, dude. That ain't cool. Was that guy talking about King K, the minor leaguer? He thought he retired. <laughs> How in the hay? Dang, see a little spook in me. Hey, somebody up there? Uh, 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 Belch. Who, Nella? Just a little bird from Beetle. Here, I'm thinking someone's up there peeping. <laughs> I gotta relax. I think so. Oh, God. Just a little bird from Beetle. That's what we are. That's what Mario and Champ are. A bunch of, bunch of little bird from Beetles. I don't know why. I just really like that. Bird from Beetle. Bird from Beetle. I'm just gonna say that a whole bunch. Bird from Beetle. Burp, burp and beetles. That's right, let's get the burp and beetle out of here. All right, we're gonna go over here and paper ability activate. All right, there we go. Oh, no butt powers activate. Let's leave this freaking place. Okay, let's go back and reserve, let's go back and reserve ourselves some more fights. Let's get back in the game now, guys. Reserve a pouch. Fix a fight, huh? Well, our last next opponent will be Right, throw in the glitz pit. Hammer, bam, and flare. Want to let your enemy damage you five times? Oh, great. Okay, yeah, that's that one's pretty annoying as well. Anyway, um, we're gonna fight this. Oh, there's our there's our escort to take us through a fight. Very nice. I was gonna go talk to. Let's let's see what our guy. Let's see what our guys think. This is who we're fighting next. By the way, my mother gave me this helmet, but told me not to tell my father. Yeah, I left the whole family behind to come make a name for myself. They cheer me. I have to make it to the top of the main. Yes, you do, my friend. But unfortunately, I'm going to knock you down a couple pegs. For you, sir, are a great A failure. <laughs> I kind of like the name of this group, Hamma, Bama, and Flare. It's pretty, pretty, rolls off the tongue quite nicely. My grandpapa's hammer's gonna strike you down, man. Here it comes. Get yourselves ready to battle. Oh, God, God my throat really hurts. Uh, yes, we need to let our opponent damage us five times. Um, doesn't mean we still can't damage them in the process. And as you can, guys can clearly tell, we have a our stage looks new and sparkly. Notice the lights along the side and the blue curtains. Looks pretty awesome. Yes, we're going to. Oh, I missed one. Anyway, yes, we're going to throw mini eggs at our opponents to uh, lower some damage we will take. But oh, uh, yes, we must let them damage us, which is annoying. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay, I think that's three. I I don't know if that the boomerang bro counts as twice. It probably does. Uh, let's yeah, let's finish off that. Oh no, he has a point of defense. I keep forgetting that. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm a freaking idiot. Look at stylish points though. All right. Um. Oh, we got burned by the fire, bro. Okay, all right, all right. That has been five times, I do believe so myself. Alrighty, so let us start actually trying to destroy them. Destroy them, destroy them! Yes, let's eat them. Get in my belly. Haha, <laughs> you still can't damage us. You suck, you suck, you suck. Oh, okay, well you can still burn me. God, that boomerang bro is really annoying. Alrighty, uh, Yoshi's hurting pretty badly right now. Um, let's get a power bounce on. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Seven for the win. And Yoshi can finish him off with a gulp because we can just heal after this. There we go. Very nice. A little more exciting fight when they actually you actually let them. Yeah, when you actually let Mario take damage for once, I mean, 
I, I, obviously, you don't want that to happen, but the fact that they made me. Aw, Yoshi has, or Champ's got a little pant going on. Aw, he looks so sad. Aw, give me my money, bitch. Champ looks so sad. Aww. Well, enough of that hoop and howling. We're going to heal him up, and he'll be fine and jiffy. But an email first. This is your last warning. Stop stooping about it, Crystal Star. If you don't do, you'll suffer the same fate as the others who have gone missing. This guy really needs to take a chill pill. He needs to. He sure knows a lot, though. He's gone about the Crystal Star, that missing fighter, and all that stuff. I tell you what, we find this guy, we'll have all the answers we need. But who is this psycho? It's a good question. Very good question. Very, very, very good question, champ. But we're going to reserve ourselves next match. Your next opponent will be... Chomp Country! Avoid switching partners. That's pretty doable, considering I love Champ. Oh, it's Jolene. What does she want? Pardon me, Mr. Gonzalez. Another gift arrived from one of your admirers. I'll just leave it over here, okay? Do what you will with it. Another piece of cake! Although, it is very tempting to want to eat that cake. Don't do it. I repeat, do not eat that cake. Rest in the bed if you are planning on healing before that next fight. Do not eat the cake because it is poisoned! Yes, the cake is poisoned. It is a poison cake. You will find out after this fight that it was poisoned in an attempt to hurt Mario from winning his next fight. Yes, yeah, so you're battling some dog chomp thing. Get results ready to battle! Yes, and you're battling some red chain chomps. Very, very scary! Anyway, um... Uh, I've been holding off wanting to show this. I, there's just been no good opportunities for me to want to do it. Because everyone, everyone's had defense points, and it, it kind of is really bad if they don't have they have defense. So I'll, I'll hold off on this until there's a good ability, a good fight to show it. Anyway, let's just try to work these guys down ourselves. Yes, they have a lot of defense, unfortunately. Um, So we're probably just going to gulp them for the most of the fight. Yes, this ability is just way too good. It's just way too good, guys. I, I know. I mean, like, I'm not going to complain about good abilities, but just gulp is just... It's just so good. No. The, the ability, it just does so much damage. It ignores defense. It hits two enemies. It just... You can't get a better attack than that. Seriously. I mean, you can, but... It's just a great attack overall. There's nothing wrong with it. And with that, we've advanced. We are now ranked two. And with... That is, yes, you can clearly see our Koopa friend over there looking very strange and awkward. But anyway, as I was saying, um, actually, as I was saying before, before all this nonsense happened, about the cake. Oh, sorry there, I touched my mic there for a second. Sorry for that flub. By the way, Gonzalez, you see that dude in the floor back here? Burr, the body went numb, stupid cake, hate cake, never eat cake again. Well, is that cake poisoned? Yeah, it must have been. If it didn't, then we'd have banged up like that guy. Yes, as I was saying, the cake is poisoned. If you eat it, your partner will not be able to engage in the next fight. Um, you'll you'll get him back afterwards fine, but he'll end up like this, which is no good. <laughs> Legs like grape jelly, shell shaking, hate you, cake, hate you. Hey, don't hate me, I didn't do anything. Anyway, yes, um, so that's that. We did not eat the cake. Yeah, okay, anyway. But as I was saying, before, as I was saying, as I was saying, we are now ranked two. And with that, our next fight is against you know who. Oh, I lied. Sorry, I got a little carried away there. I forgot the um that Rockhawk is the champion and he's not rank one. I figured that he would be ranked one. I guess I guess I was wrong. Anyway. Yes, we are now battling the Koopanator. And our condition is no items. Uh, pretty easy. The Koopanator is actually a pretty tough opponent. We'll figure out more about him in a minute. Let's talk. Let's let's talk with our opponent before we engage him in combat. You, how dare you interfere with my meditation? Time is too precious to squander on one such as you. Yeah, thanks, jerk. Anyway, um, ooh, this is a toughie. Um, I'm running fairly low on time. Uh, guys, I think I'm going to cut it here so I don't uh, have to cut it in the middle of the fight. So yeah, guys, next episode of Let's Play Paper Mario in the Thousand Year Door, we are going to battle the Koopanator and achieve rank one and battle Rock Hawk. And with that, 
Guys, not, wait, what, what was I doing? I don't know, but yes, guys, um, if you're liking what you're seeing, subscribe, like, leave me some comments, let me know what you're liking, let me know what you're not liking, I want to hear from you guys, and with that, I will see you in the next episode.